my phone that says we're live. So that's pretty instant. So let's see, wow. we have people joining. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome to our first Kiwi Lane Circle community event. Isn't this awesome? What do you guys think about the RSVP? The join the event, super simple. I know that you guys got a notification to join. It's super fun. You're gonna love the new event system. I'm glad every single one of you is here for Linda's Crop tonight. Um, I do want to uh, do some quick just announcements. Maybe it's an awareness thing, um, but I wanted to show you. So a common um, thing I'm seeing right now is comments from people in the community chat that they cannot find the event time. Um, and I just want to let you know that this circle community will adjust to the time zone that you're in. If you're unsure of the time zone you chose, you click your profile in the top right hand corner and go to edit profile. And then you will see the time zone pop up here. Be sure to choose your correct time zone, obviously, because then when you go to community events, all of the times listed on the events are the time zone that you are in. So you don't need to worry about translating Mountain Standard Time to you know Central or Eastern or Pacific. If you have your time zone set up correctly in your profile, um, the times automatically switch to whatever time zone you are in. So please take a moment on a desktop, it has to be done on a computer, um, possibly an iPad as well. Uh, just go to the Kiwi Lane Circle Community. Um, you can just Google Circle Community and log in and then go to your profile, edit profile and make sure your time zone is set to your correct time zone and then everything will reflect correctly when you're looking at event times. Another thing to look at, if you're wondering, has the event started and I have missed it, there is a green box that says in progress, which means we are in the middle of this event, right? But leading up to this event, it said 10 minutes till start time, five minutes till start time. So if you're wondering, did I miss a Kiwilin event? If you click on the event itself, this green on mobile, on a phone and desktop will pop up and say how many minutes are left until the event starts. So you're never left wondering if it has started. That is just the announcement I have because I did see um, quite a few community comments of people unsure about Tanya, event or, uh, What? Tanya, this is Lee. Your, your voice is breaking up an awful lot through that. I don't know if it's us or your signal. We've got full signal here. Oh, it's mine. It says it's unstable. So hopefully you guys okay. got that um, if you did get the time zone thing. Got it? Cool. Okay. All right. So we have 55 people joining us. I am going to let Linda and Lee take over. Please utilize the chat option for questions. This is a recorded event. It will be immediately um, available uh, to you after this event. Um, you should get a notification. We're, we're going to figure that out together, but it will appear in the circle community is where uh, recordings will be held. Um, it says Rochelle Tan has raised their hand. What do you have your hand raised for, Rochelle? If you can please type it in the chat and I will answer your question. Um, oh, thanks, Lisa. Okay, good on my end. Cool. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad that you guys are all here and enjoying the circle community. I saw a question from Rochelle. So Rochelle, if you're typing your question in the chat, please do. If not, I will keep an eye on it, but I will let Linda and Lee take over for tonight's crop. Okay, Linda, you are good. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Sonia. Now, just for you guys, she is going to kind of stay on all night with us here. So if you have questions for her particular, uh, put them in the chat. Uh, Lee is here. You want to say hi? Hey, how are you all doing? Hopefully you can hear me okay. 
Yeah, we this is a new for all of us, and we even got a new phone. So I'm hoping everything will be clear and crisp and um, won't cut out on us. So anyway, I'm so excited about this um, particular one. We are going to use the current monthly kit, uh, and we're going to use some of the featured templates that are with it. We are not going to use the paper and the sentiment cards or any of the other part of the premier kit, okay? So this is if you have scraps of paper or you have uh, paper in your stash or if you have bought some outdoor paper, grab it because this we're going to do we're going to do a lot of things dealing with fishing and I'm going to do this in three steps, okay? This layout First one we're going to do is simple and cute. These are for people who are just starting out or if they just like a basic layout, we're going to start with that. And then we're going to move up to enhance the layers. We're going to add some more layering if you want a little more um, pizzazz on your layout. And then finally, we're going to do in the details. Now, in the details is kind of what I scrapbook like. It's a lot of little things added on, a little bit of personal touch on my page, okay? So to get started, these are the templates. These five are in the monthly kit. And um, I believe it's still going to be available until the 20th of the month. And then we've also got the a la carte mountain, the pine, and uh, tiny labels, and the Aspen Court border set. So those are what we're going to use for the simple and cute. All right, so with that said, I want to show you real quick. We're, we're going to do a, a little bit on our son. This was probably about 10 years ago. Well, it was in 2010, so that's 13 years ago. So uh, he took his best friend at the time and uh, his dad out for a fishing trip. So some of you that commented earlier on my post on what I was doing, you guys all thought I was doing camping. <laughs> So, no, we are doing a fishing one. My son used to do a lot of tournaments, so I have a lot of fishing pages Oh, to do. Anyway, so we're going to pull out Aspen Court. Now, there's um, there are three sets, and by sets, I mean like 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, and 3B in a Aspen Court border, okay? And you don't have to use them all. You can if you want to layer we're going to get started and just use a few borders. We're going to use 1A, 1B, and 2A of Aspen Court, okay? So now on the Kiwi Lane templates, if you want to do a double page where the templates match up going across, you might have to flip them a little bit to get, but they do line up like right there it is. So I'm going to work with it in this direction and we're going to go across the top, okay? Then I have Aspen Court 2A, and I'm going to put that down right here, all right? And we've got our little frame template here. This was so much fun to play with, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, we are going to cut it out solid, but then you take your picture, and you just trace what you want. If you want to use this, you can cut that out, or you can just lay your picture on top once we cut it, and then we've got the one of Matt. This is Lee. This is Matt, and if you notice, there's a little mountain there, so we are going to tuck this one underneath because we will make that little mountain. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, type them in the chat. We'd love to help in any way we can to make your layout one of your favorites, okay, or all your favorites, I should say. All right, this is his best friend. He caught a carp. Matt was bass fishing, but this one caught a carp. This is Chris Darnell. He lives in Iowa, not too far from us. And uh, got a lot of funny stories about that guy. All right. So in this space, I am going to put. And I hope they all can see your pages in space because all I have is a black screen. Uh-oh. Sonia. <laughs> uh, and you guys, can you see it? Um, so I can see it. I think it's good. I mean, no one has said otherwise, so. Okay, um, okay. okay so it's That's just he doesn't have it. All right, that'll work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my photo templates to lay in the position that I want. These are a must, guys, because this tells you exactly 
where your pictures are going to be and what it's going to look like when you're finished. So I have two four by fours and a four by five. Once I have them in position, then I'm going to take them and lay them on the top of the photo that I want to use. This is a four by five. And what's nice about them, I'll hold it up here a little bit, is you can see through the templates. So you can position this in any place you want. And I'm going to do mine right there. I have a pencil mark on both of them. And I'm just going to take my scissors. Nothing special for tools other than pencil, scissors, wet, dry adhesive, and your paper and templates. Kiwi Lane is so simple. All right, so we're going to cut that off. We're going to cut this off. I've already pre-marked them. And you can use anything that you normally use on trimming your photos. See, I've got a four by five. So that one's going to go there. All right. Now the next one is a four by four. Lay it over where I want it. Make a mark. And then I'm going to cut. You probably need a bigger one for me. <laughs> I already got you cut out, honey. You're all cut. So anyway, tell us what you've been doing today. If, and if you are new to Kiwi Lane, um, if there's something that uh, you are scrapbooking special, let us know. We're always interested in, in what others are, are doing. And we like to see your posted creations. Yes, also. we definitely do want to see posts. I love, love, love this new app and website. I just love it. Yeah, the, my favorite part is being able to click on the events and it will put it in your calendar because my calendar is all over the place. And knowing that my Kiwi Lane events are going to be right there, it's, it just makes me feel like I'm not going to miss anything. So Lee and I, we're in North Dakota yet. We are in Watford City. Uh, for those that know North Dakota, you know that Watford City is kind of like in a bowl. It's it's part of the Badlands, and um, uh, the Bakken oil. Yeah, basin. the Bakken oil. Yep. <laughs> Our son's family live here, and uh, well, we'll leave it like that for now. I'm not sure which way I want. Okay, so there, I've got my pictures done. I've got this part done with my borders and this template here, the picture frame. So now I'm going to add a few more templates, okay? So we have that a la carte mountain. And let's see what it looks like over here, okay? And you can move these around yes. however you want. Yes, you can put them anywhere you want. We've got a little pine tree. Then we have the backpack, it's called Backwoods. And this is from Tiny Labels. I chose this one because I have a couple of little uh, metal things uh, to put in those holes. Tags. Little tags. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay. Then I've got my canoe. I can put my canoe here. I know they're in a motorboat, but a boat is a boat. So we can leave it like that. But that's the canoe. <laughs> and then we've got our little fish. All right. So there would be a basic, uh, not basic, I'm not going to say basic, simple and cute. There's nothing basic. It's just all just beautiful. All the templates make your layout just beautiful. There's a pesky fly in here. <laughs> oh, he's making me stutter. Okay. So for those of you who want to do a simple and cute layout, take a quick snapshot of this, your screenshot, and uh, we'll continue on with the next one called enhancing with layers okay and you know what let's go ahead and cut this one out so they can see what it's like and then we'll add some more what do you think like should we do that i think it's the right all way right to do let's do that so you can really see what you okay want. so now like i said i've just chose scraps of paper i've got some of them cut or traced already so it'll be easy cutting this uh paper is is from the call of the wild it was a Echo Park. So if you ha are familiar with this one, this is the paper I'm using. I had some left over from one of the other lives that uh, we did. I've got plenty left. That's one thing about Kiwi Lane. You use different paper, but you don't use a lot of it. 
You can use as little or as much as you want, but it helps you clean up your stash. That is so important. If you're a paper holic like me, I love, love paper. And you can ask Lee, Lee, do I love paper? Yep. <laughs> you're awful quiet tonight there, dear. He's worked all day. So we would both have worked all day, but we love our lives here with you guys, Kiwi Lane. Okay. We have a lot of familiar people on that I see. A lot of them are saying hi. You know, Hello. Like Deb Song from Florida and Lisa from out in Oregon and we have some from Kansas, Nebraska. Oh, hello, Amazon hello. Amazon from down in North Carolina. Dawn from Michigan. Welcome, Hands everyone. New York. Tamara from Indiana. So glad you could join us. No pressure being the first live on the news circle. No pressure at all. So hope you guys are liking it. Have you, have you guys all been out there and... Kind of surfed around and see what all there is to offer. This is the backpack. So I am going to cut Darlene this. John Timmons. Hello, Darlene. Thank you for joining us. And we're really sorry about uh, your friend just down the road whose husband passed away suddenly yeah. on Monday. He sent uh, some, some plants. So there was a lady that was on Linda's Sunday night uh, scrapping. And we had such a great time. Dietra Cooley. And her husband suddenly passed away on Monday morning. Yeah, we're so sorry about Smith, that. Smith Land, right? Smith, Smith Land. Land. Yep. Kentucky. Yep, yep. All right. So we're going to pull. See, Lisa's on from Arizona. It's probably nice and warm there. <laughs> Deborah Reynolds is on from Hartsville, Ohio. And I know her sister's on a lot of times. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to take another piece from Call of the Wild, a little scrap that I had left. It has trees on one side and compasses on the other. So this is a good way to show you how the Kiwi Lane templates work with an exception, okay? So most of the time you would put your template right there on the edge and you would take the other one and you would butt it up against. You'd make a mark, pencil mark, put it up there, make another pencil mark and cut it, correct? Well. That only works on a one, uh, what is not a one-way pattern. This is a one-way pattern. The trees all go in the same direction. So I have to decide how I want my trees to go, which are going to be like this. And if I put this one here, my trees are going to be upside down. So I'm going to have to go like this. Okay. All right. So we'll get a pencil and we'll trace them. Stephanie's off from Minneapolis. Hello. Ellen from Las Vegas. Shirley Boykin's on. Hi, Shirley. She has a question. She wants yes. to know what borders are you using? I am using all Aspen Court for the simple and cute layout. That's this first one. Okay. So now I've got that one. And I want this one. And Susan says Aspen's a great border. Yes, Aspen. It's one of my favorite. You didn't hear that. I don't have a favorite, but it is one because I love the 3A and 3B. It's one of your go-to It's ones. one of my go-tos when I layer. And you guys know how much I love to layer. So. And I see Mary Boltman's on from over in Milwaukee. You'll be there in October. October? Gonna We're going to go see Celtic Thunder. I can't wait. October the 6th. Is it October the 6th? Well, I'm going to trust you. That's what I'm taking you there. So I hope <laughs> I'm so. trusting you. <laughs> Ruby Harris says hi. Hello, Ruby. All right. So we are going to cut this. Now, you can use a trimmer if you want to. If you just have scissors, that's fine. You can just use your scissors. And I'm just going to use my scissors. Suzanne Connors on. Hi. Hello from rainy Pennsylvania. Oh, Sensa. Oh, Georgia is rainy night, Georgia. Isn't that good? <laughs> <But. laughs> Oh, just don't don't encourage him to sing tonight, guys. Just don't encourage him. Bunny Zons, it says, good Hi. evening. Sorry I'm late. You're Jeez. not late at all. You're not late, Bunny. Glad you could join us. So what's nice, too, about Kiwi Lane is you don't, don't have to have electricity to do this. I have a cricket, and I don't use it. I am so bad. I don't. Lee, he, he's like, well, I bought that for you to use it. Yeah, well, I love my Kiwi Lane so much. It's relaxing. A lot of people call it fussy cutting. It's 
it's just mentally relaxing for me. I see Brigida Bellanger raised their hand. Okay. I'm not sure if they just happened to bump on that button that says raise your hand or if they actually had a question. But if so, just type it right into the chat. Yes, go right ahead. the easiest way. Yeah, this one's a little different than the Zoom. Um, you guys will be able to do like we do on Facebook where you can chat. Um, but we won't be able to hear your voice. So we're just going to have to come visit with you so we can hear your voice. So. Well, and there could be enhancements in the future. We'll just have some things go. Um, got all kinds of great stuff here. Okay. Lay it on um, me. Linda Jones says, hi from Salem, Oregon. It's so great. Just be right on and get in without frustration. Oh, yes. all from the effort to put in the cell. Uh, some of these various problems. Is there a way to? I can't read my thing truncated. To uh, view on the TV like Facebook Lives, I believe it's what it's asking. Um, yeah. on the TV like Facebook Lives, you know, I I don't know. That's one for Sonia. Sonia can probably I give us an answer. See all the... I mean, so Linda Jones, your comment, if you pull up your Facebook on your TV, Facebook is a web browser, just like the circle community. Circle community is also a web browser. So if you just search circle and Google, I, I guess on your TV, if that's how you're doing it, and then log into your account, you would technically be able to watch the event on your TV. So yep. there you go. Thank you, Sonia. So. And Sabrina joined from South Carolina. She said she loves the circle community. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, it's it's amazing. It's it's like night and day difference between that and the regular Kiwi Lane community that was on. So Brenda Zomp, Kentucky, she loves the colors of the paper. Thank you. Now this is also from the Call of the Wild. It's just a plain is this one? No, sorry, this one's a basil piece. I thought it was one of the others. I didn't use that one. So this is a, just a card, card stock, a brown card stock. And I and that off. Lisa said, uh, Wiseman said, I don't use mine either. This is in regards to the cricket on your comment earlier on that. Um, Stephanie Paulson says, I love my cricket too, but it's more for, you know, home uh, titles, DIY what projects and yeah. DIY projects, but scrapbook selects are templates because they're so much faster. They're yes. trying to search the library, you know, the cricket library to see what you want. Definitely. Okay. So move these over just a little bit. And I'm going to show you. You don't have to cut all those holes out, okay? If you see templates like with this and this, Kiwi Lane is a layering system. So you can put them on top. If you want to put them in the bottom, you can do that. Underneath, you can do that. Um it's totally up to you. Now, there are these little cutouts things here, and I did do a little bit for that. Okay, so this is a, a paper that I've had. It, it looks like leather, and so I traced the mountain on that, and I think we're going to cut this so you can see what it's going to look like. And... This is just from this piece right here. I did do a little pre-cutting on some of them, so I hope you don't mind. We uh, thought it would be, since we're doing actually three different versions, it'd be just a little quicker to go ahead and have a few pieces cut out. Okay. So that and Tammy is going to go there. Tammy did join. Remember earlier, Debbie Reynolds, I said maybe her sister will join. Yeah. They're, they're watching. I mean, it wasn't long ago they were at a beach house for Mimberay, enjoying the East Coast. Okay. So now. Susan said, ha ha, detach that paper, Linda, what you had there earlier. Do what? The paper you're cutting, you know, get it detached. Oh. So. <laughs> okay. So we can leave. I'm going to do some more adjusting and you here. you got to click here on the road less traveled uh, that right. you were using there earlier. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick. All right. Let's 
see if I have. Lori joined. All right, we're going to use this. Bird, it's a York. cream. I'm going to show you a little trick so we get that frame look. All right. A All trick? Right. A Just trick. like pulling a rabbit out of your head <laughs> type of thing? No. Um, I lost my pen. There it is. Losing my pencil here. This is a scrapbooking trick then. You're sure. Yeah. Okay. Make sure I do this right. Okay, so we're going to go here. And we're going to go here and here. I'm going to do the inside. This is my first time playing with this one, so. You're going to trace the inside. And don't let it slip. And don't let it slip. And you've had some others talk about different ways that they secure their templates so that they don't slide. Mm -hmm. But you like to risk it, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to make sure I do this right. Okay. Because I've already got the brown. I want the white on the brown. Okay. So you could use partials of this? <laughs> I'm going to think in. about this for a second. I don't want to mess up here. Okay. Because that's going to be the same. See, I get just frustrated myself just by overthinking it. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Like this on the outside, then I know I'm cutting. And I may end up using white instead of the brown. I really like this white. Okay. There. Is it a cardstock? Yes, cream? this is just a plain cream cardstock. It's kind of a. It's not white. Cream. It looks white. Warm, yeah, too. but it's not. It's a cream. Uh, really? It's called. Well, yeah, it is. They call it creamy white. So take your pick your pick your choice. It's white. It's <laughs> white. <laughs> you know what? I think I might just get my slice up. I'm kind of liking this. A slice of what? My little slice, you know, the and go A ahead and cut ceramic them. cutting device. Yes, I think I might get that out. And use it. It's kind of like an exacto knife, but it's safer. A safer and yes and. Yes, it's very much safer. And you just threw your paper on the floor. It's okay. It fell on the floor. I didn't throw it on the floor. Okay. So, I mean, you. what's nice here is you can change your mind and do different things. and. It's called flexibility. I think flexibility. <laughs> yeah, but I think I am going to cut that. Or really bob and like weave. That. Bob and weave. Yeah, I think I like the white better. Okay, so we're going to cut. We're going to use my little slice. I'll save that for another one. And I'll find my slice. Manetta Smith's song. She said it's 108 here in Dallas. Oh, that's warm. And our air conditioner was out last night. Oh, oh that's God, not good. A couple hours ago. Not good at all. Okay. Sorry, guys. Here it is. All right. One slice. And? Slice is kind of like a, a little pin or a mechanical pencil with a little tip of ceramic. Yes. That you can cut. It won't cut your skin, but it does a nice job on cutting paper, especially cardstock. Yes. Okay. So I but really like Linda that. Linda has a mat that she uses I really to like cut this. on so you don't end up cutting something that you don't This is cut. the slice. It's like a, an X-Acto knife, only you won't cut yourself. And it'll cut everything that you want it to cut. Okay. Rochelle really like says only 95 in Nebraska, so. 95? Oh. That's, that's hot. Well, we're in the upper 70s and then low in the upper 50s at night. And there's a breeze. Oh, there's that fly, Daddy. I know. <laughs> Got to make this maker pretty quick. <laughs> One fly we've been chasing for two days. I can't seem to get him. You get the fly swatter and he disappears. 
people well, get hurt because it is quite it's annoying. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Only 85 in eastern North Carolina. Okay, there's one. Look how quick that was. Yes, I do like this cream a little better. Amy McCoy wants to know where you can get the slice. There's many places to get it. It's yes. pretty common. I got mine at our scrapbook store there in Cedar Rapids. And you can private message me and I will can give you all the information. You can order it um, from her and she ships it. So just look Scrap Mania, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. You can also get them from the actual company themselves. Which you can probably find out on... I assume you could go out and Google it or... Yes. So, but you can private message me and I will give you the details on where. I really like this because it's like working with a pen. Like Lee said, it's... And if, well, you guide it. it yes. It's kind of like using oh, the pencil. Sometimes you might have to use the... What are you well, saying? Well, Tanya Bailey says, what, 70s? Yes, Gee, it's, it's 7 30 p.m. We, in Texas, and it's 104. We are close to the Montana, um, not far from Canada, Canada border. Maybe an hour from Canada, hour yeah, yeah, we're not far at all. So. Snow this weekend. Isn't it? <laughs> no, the wind blows here a lot, like a lot. But it's beautiful countryside. Like I said, it's kind of like the Badlands, only it's a little more green than the Badlands. We've had a lot more rain we've had in Iowa. But Lisa Reuter says it's only 101 degrees there. I think she's in Arizona, if I remember right. So it's not too bad. And they're in monsoons, monsoon, monsoon season, season right now. Ooh. So I am going to go ahead. And I might just use this corner piece. Linda Brock joined. Hello. Hi, she's from Florida, if I remember right. Glad you joined us. We're doing a simple and cute version first. And then we're going to continue to add layers. And enhance it and then we're going to just shit it up just shit up, right? up yes and it means to enhance victoria bishop says hi lee and linda hello Hope welcome well yes and deb kazmarak who's in plant city where the great strawberries are said it's miserable hot right now oh i'm sorry well we're we're still up north and we're going to be at south dakota next and then we go to Gillette, Wyoming next. So if any of you are in proximity of where we're at, we'll pop over and see ya. We have a um, motorhome that we're traveling in and uh, hoping to go full time. So. Lisa from down in Iowa, that's always uh, with you. So it's only 84 in Iowa, but it's pretty humid. Oh, and I will repost everything with all the supplies that I used, so you guys will not not uh, lose out on. You'll be able to tell. Okay, I Lisa do like that. said uh, it's ninety-two degrees here in Ripon, California, which is cooler than what it has been. Lucy's on. Hello. Here now. Oh, here it is. Just checking in. Great. Glad you could join Watch us. Our granddaughters played volleyball. Let's see how that they works. They got to be hot. Oh, that's Gwendolyn cute. Gwendolyn Jackson's on. Hi, Gwendolyn. Hello. Okay, I do like that. Lots of familiar faces. The brown on the brown was just not quite what I wanted, but I'll use that on another one. Okay, so we'll ink this in a little bit. When you were talking about the slice earlier. I would suggest if you're passing through south uh, or southern Michigan, you can only stop by Lucy's. And Sturgis, and she might have those slices. Mm, she might. I know that uh, they are wonderful. Okay, so now we need to do a mountain. This is how the bread. So give me a mountain, huh? Give you a mountain. Lisa Reuter says does look great. And again, this is kind of the simple and cute. That's the I always forget the first word. It's not really simple, like not. There, I mean, it's really going to be pretty. It's going to be really nice. Well, but just you. it's options of what you can do. Sometimes you're pressed for time. Um, and also people that have just learned to use the templates. You know, you build confidence over time. And you get there by trying different things. Yep. Well, this is good two-dimensional. 
And Lee likes it when I zhush it up. And I like going that third dimension, using some little <laughs> geometric uh, figures, have a little s symmetrical characteristics to it. Yep. And then I will ink all of the edges with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And why do you ink it? It makes it pop. And if you're doing layering, you want those want those edges inked so um, that it will be distinguished between each one. Now, and also you print your own pictures, and a lot of times they're pretty white mm -hmm. where you cut them at. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same template, and I'm going to just do the hump. Susan said, I love that white paper on the, the placemat. I do, too. I, I liked it better than the brown. I looked at it, I'm like, oh, I don't Lisa think I'm going to like that. Lisa the white paper is good choice. Want Debbie it says, I agree with Lee about the templates. I'm not sure what I said about the templates. But <laughs> my knows? memory, you know, I'm getting older. My memory is getting short, but I can remember pretty well. Uh, and Pam Rouse likes the white paper also. We've been... Um, popping back and forth between here and our son's house we're just like five ten minutes away and uh it's 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 so much fun to be with the grandkids but their schedules are really getting volatile Holy they wear cow. us out quickly yeah they're between golf lessons and our grandson he works at a place called twist and it's yes it is ice cream so okay so here's that same template right so I'm going to put snow on it. Even though there's no snow here, I like snow on a mountain. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scissors and just kind of go around. Just make some little, little bitty. And y'all can look at the, the different things that Kiwi Lane's posting. Make sure you read those and take advantage of those opportunities. Ellen had a question. Sure. She said, are there only a handful of creative uh, partners? Again, it's truncated for me on the comments, but uh, I there's quite a few oh, creative yes. partners. I, I know don't we'll know. Looking at more in the future, but I don't know exactly Sonia how might be able many to answer are. Yes. Or else Susan could type a response. See, doesn't that make that just pop a little bit more? Look at that. I like it. Okay. Now. We've got to finish. Now my white caps have went away. I don't have a cap anymore <laughs> on my head. All right. But. So I trace the canoe out of that same leather paper that's over here. And I'm going to do the boat, the canoe. I've already traced it. And then the insides I did on a different color. Okay. And I'm going to cut those out and layer them. Well, and you don't have to always cut it out. Sometimes you can just you can draw it, it in. and put it underneath. Yes. And... If you don't feel like cutting out those little tiny pieces, I'll show you here. But I, I've got so much paper that I love that I can take these templates and use up my stash. And it makes all papers work together, even the ugliest paper. I know you all bought some of that stuff. You know what I mean? And... Uh, it will work with Kiwi Lane. I guarantee it. Okay, so I'm going to cut these little pieces out that I've traced from the inside of the canoe. Julie Hines says she loves that leathery paper. And, and it's textured, isn't it? Yeah, it's textured. Yep, it makes it look like leather. It's, it's so old, I don't even know who made it. I just had a little bit, but there's... The paper was it studio. From it was from the like paper it? studio is what it says on it. Oh, okay. It wasn't from Moses or no, it wasn't from Moses. <laughs> was it? No. One of the other <laughs> old testament <laughs> parchment papers. Nope, it wasn't. So I'm gonna cut some of these out and then I'm gonna ink it and then we're gonna stick it and then we're gonna do our next enhanced layers. Which good. We're at about 45 minutes. Okay. We're about almost halfway. Awesome. All right. Well, here we go. I am going to use. Lucy two, likes the white caps on the mountains. Two different uh, doppers. I have a little one here and they have a removable pad. I like these. I, I can't use the finger daubers because I have arthritis in my hands. So I, I use these. 
Either ones are fine. Domed. Yes, any of them are fine, but um, this is what I choose. Okay, so I'm going to take the little one. We're going to put this boat together real quick. And I'm going to just ink around the edges just to give it some clarity, give it some distinction. There's one. And you should hum, row, row, row that boat while you're doing it <laughs> to yourself. It's, it's actually a canoe. I'm a canoe, a just a canoe. A that was a canoe. Wasn't that the song? I'm just a canoe. You want me to sing? No, I don't want you to sing. Please don't. <laughs> You'd make everybody leave. Okay, so yes, this is brown, but I am going to ink it. I ink everything. I'll even ink my photos. Reason being is because if there's any white showing on the edge or any flaws in my cutting, that will cover it up. Okay, so I set this off to the side for just a minute. Now, that boat. Whoa, there it is. It's like I lost it for a minute. Okay, so here's our template. You told me it's a canoe. It's a canoe. It's a canoe. <laughs> All right. So you see how that's on? Can you see it online, Lee? I don't want to. I don't have anything online. Oh, okay. Well, if you guys can't see that, let me know. Looking. All right. So what I'm going to do is you could take a pen, like a gold pen, black pen, whatever. You could color those in if you wanted to. Or you can put them right in the right in where the canoe would go. Okay. All right. So let me get some glue. And I'm using Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I also get this at the scrapbook store. This gives you a little more time to play. Um, where like the... It is like one and done? No. I am going to go ahead and just trace this a little bit. That'll give me a little something to put my templates on. Um, the art, like the art glitter glue, I love that glue. But once you glue down, it's down. It's not coming back up. You don't have time to think about it. Okay, so here we go. Oh, my mat. My little black mat. I like having a glue mat so I don't and get where, it on my project. Where did you find a bunch of these mats the other day? Oh, <laughs> I went to the Dollar Tree um, just for a couple things. And I found these little mats that one of my gals from a stay and play found for a buck. And I bought a few for my class. Isn't I do. that what that one is right there? Is no, it? this one's not. No, but it looks like that though. No, it's about that size. Yep, I got them for our stay and play. Uh, if you guys don't know what a stay and play is, it's a crop where you can come in and do use all the templates that I have for free. This is in Cedar Rapids, and what else did I say? The same place. The same so all, place, all yeah. you gotta do is bring a yeah. few basic things like your scissors and glue and yep. and and all that. But you don't even have to bring your pictures. But you we want. we've had a lot of people they don't even know what Kiwi Lane is, so they get an opportunity yes. to play with the templates. Yes, yes, yes. And get a little bit of direction from the others, and Linda spend some time with them, and okay. it kind of gets them to understand. And the scrapbook store where Linda goes, they offer called Scrap Mania. Yep, they offer yep. Uh, some discounts if you're there for time being so it's just a good time it's a kind of a mini crop it usually yep. goes for all day it's like six yep. hours or yep. something like that okay so this is the ore for the canoe i've already traced or it what? <laughs> you're gonna be mean to me <laughs> all right so a lot of you know i love burlap so i traced it on burlap the paper is on the back side and your burlap's on the front side and also i use it i cut it over um a mat or something. I don't try to cut over my project because it does leave a little, little dust. But this is really fun to play with. I also it's burlapy on one side and just kind of craft paper on the other. <laughs> yep, you can get this at at our scrapbook store too. Comes in single sheets or in um, a pad, a twelve by twelve pad, and a and six by six. A few other places I know that carry some too. Okay. And there's so there's Different varieties that. Of it. Okay, now my tree. Now I've traced a lot of the trees. Not that it takes a long time to trace. It doesn't. But I wanted to do this because we're doing, like I said, three different levels. And we'll put this here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Well, the idea is to um, 
use the same pattern on both sides or a color, your color palette on both sides of your papers. So like if you noticed, I used the white and the white over there. There's a brown and a brown. It doesn't have to be the exact paper, but if you get in the, it's good if you can, but if you can't, I you like can. like matching your socks yeah. with your belt, with your <laughs> shirt, with your shoes, with your. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I missed that class at school on that day. Yeah, you don't want to know about that. He'll come out with something to say, does this match? Does this work? Sorry, try again. He'll come out again. And about after the third time, you'll say, okay, you just pick what you want me to wear. Those are his words. <laughs> oh, shoot. But I even have trouble sometimes matching. No way. Yeah. I'm not going to deny it. Okay. So we got a tree. Everybody's quiet. Yeah, I know. Guys, speak out. Let us know what you're working on. Are you scrapbooking with us today? Okay. Tree. Let's see. I think I have another. Do I have a tree over here? Oh, I do. Let's and do course, another burlap tree. And we tell these Ooh. guys they can always scrap lift from you. Yes, you know, what's definitely. We've heard? It's, uh, you said it. I didn't know what it was. Mooch. That's another word I've heard. Scrap booch or something like that would borrow know. your ideas. I don't know. I love it when you guys emulate or scrap lift. I love it. Just make sure you post it so I get to see too. Because I love, I get inspiration from all of you. I see that Brenda Frizzell raised her. Okay. Hand. Uh, again, um, You'd have to type over in the chat if there's a question you got, but Brenda is from out in Texas. Yay! I always give we her a high time Texas. that it'd uh, be nice to be a relative of, like, Lefty Frizzell or one of them, David Frizzell. We, one of my friends um, that lives in Mexico, by she was um, born and raised in Texas, her relative is, help me think of his name real quick. Uh, you tell me. Uh, it's not Leon. Hello. Lyle Love It. There you go. It's her first cousin. It's her first cousin. And they don't look anything like they would be related. But but she said he's always at all the family yep. reunions. I thought everything. that was so cool. Okay. So I'm going to dump this in my garbage. Okay. All right. Let's work Pam on the other says side. she's putting die cuts on magnets. Ooh. Okay, so I have another little piece of that same kind of paper, only it's gold. And I am going to use this. This little label, Almost one like T. The leather, but it's not. Right. It looks it like gold. it, but it's gold. It's like really shiny gold. If you guys ever did like gold panning or whatever, this paper would be perfect for that. Brenda Webb says, I love the canoe, and actually, it's turning out really cute. Awesome. Nancy says, I'm so intrigued watching it. I'll scrap later. <laughs> and I know you've been on before, Nancy, and uh, appreciate you being on. Yes. Okay, so I am cutting inside this backpack. There are little cutouts. I'm doing this little bitty buckle area or name tag area. What? I think it's a little buckle. All right, we've got that. And then I've got the center of my tiny label. Ruby Harris says, I've been canning tomatoes all day, so now I'm just watching and enjoying. Awesome, awesome. I know we used to have big beef steak tomatoes and some oh, of the other, the big yeah. boys. And okay, so this up. is the tiny label. And then... Let me make sure. Okay. So I went, I have burlap on this side. So I need burlap on that side. So I'm going to cut. It's not a requirement, but no. it just helps you feel a little more symmetrical and balanced. There you life. go. Okay. Sharon Whitley says, I just got home from a Bible journaling class. So I am Ooh, just watching. And fine. hope to create this this weekend. And as Sonia awesome. said at the beginning, uh, as soon as this is over, you should get. The replay. Uh, an email or a link that will get you to the, the replay yes. uh, fairly quick. Very easy step. So. Okay. 
Tamara so, said I'm working on my first grandchild's album. Oh, uh, we got six. All right, so that's going to go there. And this is going to go here, right? But I'm going to make that flap. And I have a little dark green that I'm going to make. So I have a flap on my backpack. Bunny says she's recovering from hip replacement surgery. Oh, she had Bunny. Monday, and uh, she's just enjoying the two of you. <laughs> Bunny, you poor girl. That's not fun. Not fun at all. Okay. Stick him over there so I don't cut. It's very important. I have a tray for my templates, but um, I'm used to cutting around or, you know, having them in my path. But be very careful with your templates so you don't cut them in half or nick them. Put them in a tray or something after you've traced them. Well, this is so much fun, guys, tonight. I really needed this. Make sure we get it the right way. I really needed this. Okay, so now we've got the flap. And we need to make a handle, right? Okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's take it down. I love this. So this is the kind of detail work I like to do. Uh, I need to. But you're still on the. I'm, I'm the... still on the simple one. We're just almost done, actually. Just gotta do a little inking, and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay. I'm gonna ink this. Yes, it's a dark piece, but I am going to ink it because there's a little white showing. Put a little glue on this. I like to use glue on the tiny pieces, and then I use my big adhesive on the on the bigger pieces. on the bigger pieces. Yep. Okay. Then we're just gonna ink around. The edges. Julie, hi. And you put her in quite of a predicament. Uh oh. Now so what? Darn it. Now I can't decide it. If I if the canoe or the backpack is my favorite. <laughs> oh, hang on, girl. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, my goodness. We have some great stuff here coming up. Like I said, this is the cute and simple. All right. Nancy said she went to Target. She found a clear box slash tray for her templates. It's Perfect. in the kitchen organizations area. Works great. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Now this will go here. And I can put like a date on it, which it's is like probably going to do. Like an East? No! Okay. So now I have these little bronzy looking adhesive dots. And I'm going to put that there and put this here. Okay. And I ink, um, ink it again. This sure it is hi from Indiana. I'm following along. We just got back from a six week trip to the West. Wow. Six Southern States. I've been in the club since December and this is my first Kiwi Lane page using only Kiwi templates. Thanks for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you could join us. Okay. Lisa Weisman said the backpack is so cute. Back to Sharon. Hi from Indiana. Actually, our motor coach that we have, our camper, our RV, is <laughs> like a lot of RVs, is built in Indiana. Yeah, Middlebury. Middlebury. So we have an Integra. Middlebury, Napanee, up in that area. Yeah. So Lee, he bought this for us. We're, we're hoping to do full time as soon as he retires this next year. And then we're going to come around and see all you guys. We haven't figured out how to get pontoons on it <laughs> to get across the ocean. But uh, A couple weeks ago, we had uh, two ladies off from New Zealand and one from Puerto Rico. Yep. 
this also, if you have a little pencil line that you um, didn't cut exactly on, this ink, uh, the vintage photo, uh, will cover that up. You won't see it. And it's just a great color uh, that you can use on just about everything. Once in a while, I'll switch to black. I have used colored on some of my layouts that match the paper. Okay, now we're gonna go back to this little one. We'll do these mountains. Lisa okay. says I love that I can zoom in to see the details. Awesome. We got some more details coming up for you here. All right, so I don't have to do the underside. And if you get a little extra, like for instance, I kind of just did a little overage right here. That kind of actually gives it like a shadow effect on the mountains. So don't be afraid to give it just a little more. Okay, we're going to do this one. And you can use tweezers too if you don't want to get your fingers all inky. I carry um, handy wipes with me wherever I go. I have more control with my fingers than I do a set, set of tweezers. So I opt to get my fingers dirty. All right, let's put this on. Victoria Bishop says, Yahoo, travel full time. Yeah. We'll keep the light on for you, you know, like a commercial. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Okay. And, you know, you don't even have to do snow on here like this. You could put any color you wanted. You guys know mountains. If you've seen them, they're, they're all colors of shadows. So if you change your mat on this side, you could do it here. Okay. There's that. All right. Ink this little guy. And I think all I got left to do is ink the frame. And the fish, got to do the fish. Okay, we come right at 8 o'clock, so you're about... Well, now, Sonia said we were okay. They're not going to shut us off, so we're good. All right, and I'm going to put this on this one. Our grandson, he's uh, 16, has a license. Like I said, he has a job. It was so, so awesome. Just he stopped over here by himself this afternoon. Oh, that just looks so good. I like that. Now, to do the burlap, if it's a small piece, I just kind of go on top a little bit just to kind of give it a little coloration. Okay. Let's go ahead and ink these pictures. If you've never inked your pictures, give it a, give it a shot because it does make a difference, especially if you don't mat your pictures. A lot of times um, it just needs a little something and this will, it's not taking the replace of matting, but it does help make it distinguished. Okay. Oops. Threw that one right out of my fingers. Do you remember what lake this was, Lee, that you guys were at? This was 2010, May of 2010. Where would that have been? He's thinking, I got him stumped. No, we lived in Comanche. Yeah, I knew that. And it's a lake. We didn't have lakes. Was That's it McBride? Lake McBride? Oh, no. No? Unless he come there to see us. Did he come to see the Rapids, you think? No. No, this was, because this is his old boat. This is the old red but one. I would think it's probably down around Burlington Lake, Lake Geo. Okay. Our son loves, loves to fish. He's uh, like his dad, a mechanical engineer. And uh, he works for McKenzie Electric. He's the CEO out here. So he's got a lot of responsibility, just like his daddy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ink this. While I'm inking, get it all done. Okay, now we're going to do this one. I'm going to use my little one. 
And if you wanted to, there's like this, this banner. You can also cut a banner of a different color out of there if you want to. I'm just doing this real basic tonight. I say basic. Simple. I got to get used to this. <laughs> Simple and cute. The basics would be scissors, glue. Because <laughs> that's necessary, the basics. Okay. Oh, you hear my doggy slurping in the water? And I, you can get a little messy with this, too, so it kind of gives it a little more dimension. Don't go over the top. But... What do you mean, don't go over the top? being messy oh. like you know don't paint your arms and your hands you can get as messy as you want don't let him fool you you can do whatever you want it's your layout but this would be a nice place for a title on the bottom also it was kind of weird we first started we kept having signal that was and now it's around. not yeah it's solid now well sonia said hers was unstable or something so uh-uh grace no, there's nobody out there, sweetheart. She's got her head through the curtains, so she'll let you know mm. if there's somebody out. So this weekend, there's a rib fest going on here in Watford City. And the place we're staying is just a little city park. I think there's maybe, what, 10 spots? At most. At most. So it's a little busy right now. Oh, I like that. Okay. So I'm going to put these up so I don't get my hand in it. Ellen oh, okay. says, if this is simple, can't wait to see the intricate. <laughs> You guys are going to have a fun time. Okay, so let me get this together here to go fish. We got to do a fish. Okay, so I found this scrap of paper. It's got a mixture of stuff on it. And I'm like, oh, that would be perfect for the fish. So we're going to cut him out, ink him real quick. And then we will do our next layering. And it doesn't take long to cut these little pieces out at all. It doesn't take long to trace them. You'll have to stick down your aspen cord in that yet, don't you? Um, not till I get done getting my other layers. I will do it once I do the, okay, you're the next do one. The nip and tuck type. <laughs> nip and tuck. I like that. <laughs> well, like we do the circles, you'll cut through. And oh yeah, no, no, I don't have to do that. But yes, okay. A little bit more. Oh, wait till you guys see the last one. I made a fishing lure out of the templates. I love it. I love it. I went through. So I have a book that I print all the photos of all the templates. I keep them in the sets how they come. And um, I was looking through the book and it had. Um, I'm looking for things to make the fishing lure, right? So I found a couple things and, and I start laughing because I'm using gingerbread. I'm using tiny egg hunt. And I'm thinking, how versatile are these Kiwi Lane templates? Amazing. Every time I pick them up, I say they're just like magic in your hands. And you get so many good ideas just by looking at the template and, and seeing what, what it has it to offer. Be. Yes, what it could be. Oh, okay. so, well, Lisa from back in Iowa said that I saw that my favorite band is actually playing at Ribfest Friday night. And yes, it's the group Blackhawk. Yes, we're going to go. We're excited. In the early 90s. Uh, they've already got the street blocked off. So, well, if they're any good on the ribs, they should have them cook it by now, too, if it <laughs> starts tomorrow night. Okay. At least get the fires burning. All right, we get this lined up, and then we're going to do our next layer. And ribs are good, but I tell you, it's still hard to beat that calabash fish. Hey, just give me Carolina. a good corn dog. I'm good. Oh, well, right. the Iowa State Fair started. Oh, I didn't ink this one. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, we're missing it this year. And, oh, I wanted to go so bad. Uh, Walk Off the Earth is there, and Lindsey Sterling is there. They're on my bucket list. But please get me a few of my bucket lists accomplished. I got to see George Strait. I got to see Lori Morgan. We're going to go see Mannheim Steamroller and Home Free and Celtic Thunder. Celtic Thunder. Yes. 
And Lisa says, no, not Blackhawk, Hairball. They're opening for Hairball. Oh, mm, I'm, so I don't even know what their songs are, Hairball. You know? Oh, uh, we might. I have no Let's idea. See. I know who Blackhawk is, so. Okay, I'm going to lay this on. I'm still waiting for them to give me a call to see if they need to fill it on guitar tomorrow night. <laughs> okay, so you have a couple different options. Flexibility. Flexibility. You so can cool. leave the canoe there. You can put your fish here, your backpack, and your little tag. And you could do this if you wanted to, kind of complete that. Or if you wanted to, you could add another tree over here. You could add whatever you wanted. So this is a basic, no. Simple and cute. <laughs> Simple and cute Kiwi Lane layout, okay? Except for the big guy down there in that picture. That's not cute. Aw, you're cute. All right, and you could journal here. You could do a title. Um, you could add some more uh, pieces if you want. You could put your fish down here. All kinds of things you can do. Okay, you ready for the next one? We're going to enhance with layers, all right? Linda, her initials are LLL, layering with Linda Lou. That's kind of what she does. Yes. Okay. So I'm still using Aspen. Linda Webb says, I like the coloration of the fish paper. Oh, good. Now, it's just a, a an old piece of scrap I found. So works good. All right. So we have Aspen Court. We're still using that. All right, and this is 2A, which we use down here. We're not going to use that anymore. we got to have this one. Here we go. Okay, so these are the ones I told you about that I love with any set, Aspen Court 3A and 3B. Okay, and again, we want to find how they layer that way. Okay, so we're going to make another layer up here, and if you like the layered look, this is how you're going to get it. And it don't have to all be Aspen Court. You can mix No, you can mix anything. Right now, this is one of the featured sets um, that Kiwi Lane have. It's Aspen Court to go with the monthly kit, along with the mountain and the pine and the tiny labels. So the tree is probably an Aspen tree. Although that's funny, I don't know. Where am I going oh, here? I don't know. I love the pine trees. Just they're so awesome to layer. Okay. So now we can do that there. Make another layer if you like that. If you want to do one more, we can do another one in there. Ellen says this is turning out amazing and so quick. Yeah, it is quick. Okay, so we're going to put that one there. All right, and that one there. All right, so now that, and you could add a couple more trees if you wanted to. I'm going to stick this one in between. Okay, and this will go here like this and this. So that would be more layers, right? Okay, we'll cut them out of some plain green. I have two different shades and I'm going to put the light one in the middle here. I'm putting three on one side and one on the other side for a reason. And you'll see it here in just a little bit. Okay. That's what I had it. Yep. Okay. So I'm just going to lay this one down. This is 2B of Aspen Court. Susan does mention and those sets, the mountain and the pine, are just unvaulted sets for just this the occasion. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Got that one. And then I'm going to take this one. Now, if you noticed, okay, they line up there. And as long as I'm using a solid piece, I can flip it, okay, and put them together. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this one's going here. I'm going to put this one here. 
Okay. As long as I keep them in the same direction, we can put them together and save ourselves a cut. There's one. Now, some people like to start with two templates and then take one away and then draw the other one. You can do that too, whatever's the easiest for you. And if you have trouble with your template moving, I don't know if you noticed, I move my hand right where my pencil is going. Okay, let's cut this out. And there is a correct way to hold these scissors. These are Tim Holtz. I, I like the seven inch and I like the five inch. Um, the five I use for the little bitty things. Um, you could use the, the seven inch to do the same. But I like the little ones just for my own use. All right, we're gonna cut this away from the big piece. You're gonna waste a little bit, but not a lot. You still got this whole sheet to play with. All right, let's do this here. And I, I use a Kuru Toga beauty pencil. It writes on light and dark and it doesn't smudge. Uh, so it does not leave any um, dust, pencil dust on my templates like a regular pencil does. And that is so nice that I don't have to clean them every time. When I use the pencil, I would be cleaning them before each use or I would be getting it all over my next layout. <laughs> so, and that's not fun. And taking time to clean them, that's the way taking time away for me to create. So in the motorhome, I have a special section that I keep my templates in and my paper. Okay. All right. So let's ink those and we're going to keep it going. So this would be enhancing with layers. We start out simple and cute and now we're just enhancing by doing another layer or two to get more of the 2D effect. Um, And then I can't wait to show you what another option you can do. If you've ever watched um, creative partner, Mary Snyder, she has great um, layouts and she uses uh, different materials in her layouts. And I like to do that once in a while myself. I have antique lace and antique rickrack, um, I've done doilies. My uh, my grandmother and great grandmother used to tat, so I have like the handkerchiefs. I put those in. I've used them as backgrounds for my photos. There's so much you can do with the Kiwi Lane templates and add stuff to it to make it look just so appealing. Of course, you could just use paper. Ellen said you can always use a piece of washi tape to hold down the templates. Yes, you could do that too. Or paper Nancy clips. Said that was a good idea. Or paper clips. Okay. So we are going to layer. And you can actually use uh, pop dot or elevators to kind of. Yes. To raise up. He calls them. He, he calls them elevators because they elevate. <laughs> okay. And they're square. They're not dots. Well, no, they are dots. Just I use the square ones. Well, then Bring it's up. not a dot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. <laughs> okay, just want a little bit of that green. Okay. Bring it down just a tad more. Okay, and then this side. Okay. There and there. All right, so now what we're going to do to bring the green over on this side is we're going to do another tree. So I'm going to take my pine and I'm going to trace it. I'll show you how easy it is to cut a small. And as a time check, it's 8.15. Okay, 
We're all right. A lot of the rest is all cut out or ready to be cut out. It's all traced. So we are good. Now, again, I've only used Aspen Court and the monthly kit club. And I have used for August. for August. And you have until the 20th to get it. And then I am using the a la carte pine and the a la carte mountain. And that's the mountain and that's the pine. I kind of like the blue in the back side of that one. Oh, yeah. For clouds. Yep, you could use that for clouds. Okay, get my scissor back in there. Ellen wants to know what's the pencil called again? It's by Uni, U N I, and it's Kuru, K U R U, Toga. And it works well, like I said, with the templates. It doesn't leave a um, dust on it. And you want, when you go to replace the lead, you want to do uh, HB, and the number that you have is 0 0.3, 0 0.5, or 0 0.7. And it'll be a no smudge ink or lead. So, and you can get those also at our scrapbook store and scrap me there in Cedar Rapids. Hers for, are pink. I used to have uh, similar pencils for my drafting when I did drafting back when drafting was a thing. It shit isn't anymore in the 70s, but uh, HB is the hardness of the lead. The 0 0.3, 0 0.5, or 0.7 is how much of a millimeter. And in diameter. if you have trouble seeing, go with the 0.7 or the 0.5. If you don't want to see any pencil marks at all, go with the 0.3. Because the point three it's very thin. Much easier than yes, the it will. Okay, we're going to ink this little piece. And then we're going to do our enhanced, it's in the details. In What's the, in details. the details? What I'm going to do next. This what is the second. Next? He's being mean. mean. You're being mean. And, you know, you guys could take the white and do the same thing I did on the mountain on these trees, too, and give a little frost edges to the trees. Okay. Deborah says, I know the mountain's in the vault. Not sure about the pine tree. And I thought I saw that Susan said both of them were out for right now. But, yes. Uh, this kit, it would be nice if they were available. And I, I agree, if they could be available for a bit, that would sure be nice. Okay. Because they do complement oh, one another so well. Yeah, ink the fish. Okay. All right. So there is our hands with layers. Okay. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to zhush? That's my thing. I zhush. So we're calling this one in the details. All righty, here we go. <sighs> now, I'm going to give you a couple different options down here, and I'm going to start there, okay? If you like this, leave it alone. If you want to do something different, if you want to pro portray a lake, I'm going to show you what you can do. And this is where you can use other templates in your layouts. Okay. So I grabbed Paisley Place 1A. Okay, this is another set, Paisley Place. If I put this... Which is another one of your go-tos. Yeah, I like Paisley Place. Okay, if I go and put that there, and I want a little lake effect, I'm going to use Cedar Trails. Okay. Cedar Trails. I think it's 3A and 3B. And I'm, I just cut out pieces of And those are fun them. borders, right? These are fun borders. These are for people who already have these templates. These are vault. The Paisley Place is not, but the Cedar Trails are vaulted. Okay. So if you want to do water, you can do that. You put your boat, your canoe back on with a tree like that. Okay. So then you, and you could make it any color you want, but that would be one option, okay? But what I want to do is I want to go back and use the original that we started with, and I'll use that on another layout that I've got, okay? 
this, my canoe, my boat, oh, my canoe oar. All right. Now, there was a long time ago, um, this is Wilderness. It was one of the very, very first kits that we ever had, monthly kits that came out. And I'm going to give you the exact name here. Grab a hold of it. Okay. There we go. Adventure Awaits. It's from June 2018 is what the kit was. Okay, so if you have that one, pull out the mountain. And this little guy is going to go here. Well, we might switch it up. We'll just leave that one there. We'll put this one over here. Just a little bit. It's all we need. Okay. Then. Point sticking off the paper. I'll pull it down. Okay. Then. This is also from Adventure Awaits. This pine tree. And it's going to go there. All right. And then we'll take another pine tree and we're going to layer it there Move this over this way so we've got some more layering then you guys are going to laugh when i get here all right so then we have these are from collect moments and that was june of 2022 okay and we're going to put a little mountain layer here and I'm going to put one here. And then this also came from Collect Moments. It's a little tent. And we're going to put the little tent here. And then there's these little bitty, these were also from Collect Moments, these little bitty trees. And these are perfect to layer. Let's put this over here. To layer like that with your bigger trees okay now here's another one it's from the same one it's two it's a little moon we're gonna put that there now who knows what is missing from a fishing page what would you use for a fishing page a fishing pole yeah you could do that a bobber you could do that a hook. How about a lure? How about a worm? <laughs> How about a lure? A fishing lure. Okay. So I'm actually going to move this. Pam Rose says uh, bait. Bait. Let's see what that Which says. I oh, guess a that. lure is bait. Yeah. And you know, guys, um, when I look at the templates, yes, I see a tent, but I might see a book. You know, if you turn it that way, it's an open book. Uh, Look at your templates. They're they're not just what they appear to be. They can be anything. Or what you're told they are. Yes. Okay. So I am using I get the right name. That one. That one. That one. And this one. Okay. Don't laugh. Remember I told you. I'm using gingerbread. I'm using the candy cane from Gingerbread, okay? Lisa Weissman said a worm. <laughs> a worm, yes. That, we're doing that too. All right. I'm using Tiny Egg Hunt. I'm using the carrot from Tiny Egg Hunt. This is my tribe monthly kit, May 2019. I'm using the small feather. It's called Tickled. And last but not least, I'm using America the Beautiful from July 2019. I'm using the Statue of Liberty, okay? Do you want to do them on here so they can see? We can do that. Okay. So this is what we're going to have. Layer hook. Put this on top. Okay. And this, we're just going to use the torch, and it's going to come off of here. And I've got it over here already cut out. Okay. Any questions on that? And this is for the worm? No, I don't have a worm. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Don't 
don't have a worm. Okay, so let's start. I've got them all cut here you just like about. I help you? Oh, yeah, I love it when you help me. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Ellen says, oh, my God, you're so creative. Okay. I taught her everything she knows. He, right? he did. What can I say? Okay. So we're going to take this one, and we're going to transfer it over here because... Susan Budge says, Lee, Lee really wants the worm. There's somebody else that said that, too. <laughs> uh, okay, I can make a worm. All I, Okay, if you want a worm, you want to go to... I want to see you do this work because there's a lot there. It's a, it's called Another Year. It's the one that had the, the little champagne glasses, and it has a little curly, um, like a celebration, like you would pop something, these little... Little streamer things come like out. A swizzle yeah, stick. there's one in there. So if you want a worm, maybe I'll get it out. We'll see if we can put a worm on there. You don't have to do that tonight. Oh, okay. Do the work, but you're about out of it. You're you're getting up to. Okay, we're just gonna put these on. Okay, that one, and then I just cut out. Um, this was the plaid that was the. That piece, <laughs> the backpack, and the first layer over here. And then we're going to glue that on. All right, we're going to do this tree. And the reason I moved the burlap one and this one over here is because this piece is on this side, and I want the same paper on the other so that it looks uniform. Okay. What are you Rochelle laughing says, at? Do a worm. Do a worm. Okay. Uh, Susan Bud said Linda's a great template engineer. So see, you're even classified <laughs> as an engineer. engineer. I'm a domestic engineer. I'm a I'm a mom. You're always thinking out of the box, uh, which is fun to witness. Okay. So this was also from that same uh, the Echo Park Call of the Wild paper. Like I said, I have a lot of this left, and I'm using some for camping. I'm using this for the fishing, and I'm also going to use it for uh, travel. Um, it's a very versatile piece of paper. And with that said, okay, so how many of you have trouble matching your papers? Well, Kiwi Lane, if you look on there, they have a video on how to pick your papers. But if you don't want to pick your own papers, do the monthly kit. Because the monthly kit is already done for you. And oh, the everything. One. Yes, the premier one. Everything is matched. Everything. And you can get three layouts. You can get more if you add your own background. And it's there's nothing to think about. It's all there for you. And what's really nice about the Kiwi Link kits that I really like is I, I do have a couple other places that I get kits from, um, monthly kits. And the, the only thing bad about other ones, it's a one and done. Kiwi Lane, you have the templates. So you can keep creating. As you guys notice, I was using monthly kits from past out of my uh, inventory. inventory. Thank you, dear. So it's not a one and done. And Ellen says, I'm glad that you moved that tree. It stood out too much. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, you know, you guys can can zhish it up all you want. If you want to just do the simple and cute, you can do that. Um, sky's, the lim the sky's the limit. There's everything you can do with the Kiwi Lane templates. I always tell my... Um, People that come to the stand plate. If you don't like it, add another layer. And that's all it takes sometimes. But I've been scrapbooking with Kiwi Lane since 2010. And I became a creative partner just a few years ago. Uh, love the company. Love the templates. Love the staff. They're just amazing and some of you know that their shipping is phenomenal. You get it, like, immediately. Shelly was the first one to join tonight, actually, to get you. Oh, yeah. Shelly. Hey, she was my mentor. 
when I started. Upline. Upline. Yeah, I called her my mentor. Okay, so we got that one and that one. Got that one and that one. Uh, yeah. Let me make sure. I think I did that. Yeah, I did that one. Okay, here we go. Now we'll put them together. Okay. And then I got these little bitty ones yet to do. Two of those. Otherwise, we got it. Okay, that one there. I get my little glue. Make sure I get it in the right direction. There we go. And it also, if you notice, it had a cutout. That's what I traced and put there. You can draw it if you don't want to cut that small. And then what I like to do when everything's all done, I like to go back and doodle. And sometimes I might add a uh, enamel dot or two. Or six or ten. Yeah. Okay. So that one's going to go there. You glue this on. And as you notice, I'm still using my glue mat. Because I don't want glue on my layout. It's going to go Except there. Except where it's supposed to Except be. Except for where it's supposed to be. Okay. That one's going to go there. That goes there. Okay, we'll glue this one. Okay. Make sure I get it in the right position. Okay. And I also have other... Uh, Layouts that I've done, but if there's one that you want to see done, just let me know and we'll try to incorporate, incorporate that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put this off a little off center because I want that dark to show through a little bit. Okay. Now, this little piece is going to go right here. There's always, on a lure, there's always a little bit of extra something. And you want, want to know why it's there. But my son always tells me, he says, that's the part that the fish like to be attracted to. Okay. And then we're going to do this. I'm just going to go part way on it. If you want to make it look more like a fish hook, like this one I did, you can do that. For me, I'm just going to leave it just like this. Okay. And then this one goes on here. And I have some twine that I'm going to wrap some twine around it. All right. We have all the pieces except for over there cut. But that is our fishing lure. Pretty slick. Okay, that's going to go there. And this. And you can put as much or as little as you want on your page. I'm going to stick that there. I'm going to move this tent on this side. I'll put him right there. Put him on the hill. There we go. I like that. Okay, so now we we'll just stick it down and we've got a couple more trees to cut. Those little bitty ones, one here and one over there. And you can stop whenever you say, hey, that's enough. I don't want any more on it. Or you can keep going. Julie Hines says, amazing. Lisa Reuters says, my goodness, amazing. It's Kiwi Lane. That's the whole thing. It's Kiwi Lane. Same templates, and you can do three yes. different varieties. Oh, you so. can do numerous, numerous outline um, layouts with these templates. The same ones. Now, they've, they've also got uh, three kits that are complete with borders, the accessories, the tinies, everything. One is Everyday Adventure, which is a little more geared toward the masculine side, but you could still use it for girls. And then there's one called Nature Walk which is flowers and um, a little more feminine, but they just came out with one called party time, not birthday party. You can use it for birthday. You can use it for retirement, hint, hint, hint. And you can use it for anything. 
And then there's also idea books or idea, yeah, brochures that you can download when you um, purchase like the monthly kits and get ideas. Or you could just do what I do. Just start laying them down and start moving them. Ellen says, just out of curiosity, was this an actual camping trip or just a fishing day? A fishing day. But the landscape was so pretty. And I wanted to focus on the the experience of the lake, not just the fish. Because our son, he would, um, he would pick lakes that um, had really nice bass fishing in it. And those were the prettiest. They would have um, the greens. A lot of structure. Yes. And he's fished all over, so. The other thing that Ellen's mentioned was she's not a fan of the tint and the paper that you chose. Okay. That's fine. And you wouldn't have to put that in there. The reason I did is I wanted some red that was the same on here. But you could easily take it off and do something else or just leave it off. Brenda Frizzell says, I love the lure. You're so creative. Okay. Dump that in. All right. So, that, that, yeah, this, and this. And then, I'm going to put that like that. Okay. That would be the layout. So now all I have to do is stick it down, do some doodling, some journaling, put some enamel dots. Um, yeah. And uh, we'll see. If I, if I need something else, I will add it later. But anybody have any questions? This would be your in the details. This is a whole bunch of little things that I like to do. I, I like to create with little the little templates, but if you want to, you could take it all the way back. We're going to go back to the beginning. Nikki just joined Probst and said, barely got here in time, but I love hey. everything about this layout. You're fine. You're and just you'll fine. Get a, you'll get a link for the replay right after this. Yes. Nikki, uh, we might possibly be able to see when we're in Spearfish because she's not far from there in oh, Wyoming. cool. If okay. you remember correctly. So, like, look, I just take it a little bit off of there. You could go just with that if you wanted to. Ellen said, uh, fabulous. Well, uh, what a way to uh, uh, showcase Kiwi Lane. Lisa Weisman said, love it. Victoria Bishop said, what a great page. Love it. Oh, good. Nikki I'm said so she had glad. a Thursday night church meeting. Could be a problem. Oh, uh, <laughs> just the second Thursday of every month. So... Yeah, anyway. says lovely layout. You can play with whatever you want. Uh, if you want to take this, your little fish. Deb I've got says, uh, uh, so great, Linda. Love your word. Oh, I'm glad. And then you can take your twine. You could make a loop around here. We'll do this real quick. Wrap it around. Pam says your pages look great. Okay. And then you can just take it. You can put it loose up that way or have it go down to your fish. So one more thing I wanted to show you. Uh, let me find it. Here it is. Sabrina, someone have to create a book like you do with all the templates so you can mix to what she has. Yes. So I was telling you about, you know, Mary, how she does... Um, different laces and stuff like that well i have this so let's just say you don't want to do all the layers but you still want a little something right so you can take looks like a rick rack kind of you could take this and you can go down along the edge if you wanted to and then just layer on top so you can get that idea. Um, lots of things. Lots of things you can use with Kiwi Lane. Don't throw any of your stuff out. Just keep 
using what you have. Oh, the other thing. Oh, we forgot to show them one more here. Okay. So this little green tree is pretty plain, right? I could doodle on it. I could also use a crimper. Watch this. This is an old tool. But look at the results you're going to get. I'm going to put it back. All right. Can you see now how it changed the look just by crimping it? The other thing you could do is you can wet the paper. This is old fashioned. You can wet the paper, scrunch it, let it go back out, let it dry. And you'll also get kind of this leathery crinkly look. Okay. All right. Well, Susan and Tanya, if there's anything else um, that we need to do, let me know. Um, otherwise, I think we're finished. I, I'm going to adhere this down. And just like you, you've seen it, and I'm going to do some doodle work, little uh, enamel dots maybe somewhere, and I'll get it posted. All right. Well, we appreciate you joining us. And don't forget, the ne next one will be this next month, the second two Thursday. Second Thursday, I don't know what the date is. But go in and check out all the other events. Susan does the PJ Playdate, which she'll use similar templates. Plus, she'll be using that wonderful paper. Um, there's also Picture Perfect. It helps you pick out your pictures and know which ones to do and size, etc. And I know there's some more on there, too. I'm missing but check out all the events and we're so glad that you joined us. We hope you will join us again and happy scrapping. And make sure you let QE Lane know about the new enhancements. Oh and, yes, please let them know how and, you and like the, it. the new thing. I, it's really positive from my point of view. Yep. All right, guys. Happy scrapping. Sonia, I'll let you take us out.